Welcome to the video tutorial for designing guide RNAs for isolating large genomic regions with Sage Sciences HLS catch process. For the purpose of demonstration, we have selected an example target gene, PMS2. PMS2 is a 38 KB gene that is located on chromosome 7 and is involved in gene repair. Mutations in PMS2 have been associated with Lynch syndrome and some cancers. A large portion of PMS2 is duplicated about 800 KB further away on the chromosome. These duplications are located within a pseudogene, PMS2CL, shown here. This presents difficulties for sequence analysis of PMS2 using standard target enrichment techniques. HLS catch can be used to isolate fragments containing the entire PMS gene without contamination from PMS2CL. The approach that we will use relies on reference sequences for human or mouse genomes and the highly featured annotations on the University of California Santa Cruz UCSC genome browser. First, we will use the genome browser to select guide RNA candidate regions and then enter these sequences into publicly available guide RNA design algorithms, in this case, guidescan.com, though there are several available to identify the final guide RNA sequences. Second, we will use the built-in CRISPR 10K track within the UCSC genome browser to identify suitable guide RNA sequences. This strategy is somewhat more limited in that the CRISPR 10K track only annotates guide RNAs within 10 KB of known genes or exons. However, it is very convenient for gene-rich regions like the one used for our example. A PDF version of this tutorial is available on Sage Sciences' Sage HLS support page. A link to the UCSC Genome Browser and Guidescan.com are in the document and can also be found in the summary section of this video below. To begin, launch the Genome Browser homepage. Select the Genome Browser link. Select the most recent Human Reference Assembly from 2013. For the position search term, enter PMS2, select the top search result, and then press Go. The browser will launch and display the 38,125 base pair PMS2 locus. The Genome Browser has many display options. For our purposes, we recommend the following settings be displayed. First, all current displays can be set to hide by pressing the Hide All button. Starting with all displays hidden, enter these settings and make sure to press the Refresh button when changes are made. For those following the tutorial live, here are the settings again. The final browser display should look like this. We will look for sequence regions that are devoid of repeats and SNPs, 
and importantly, have balanced GC representation. Before starting, it is useful to have guidescan.com open in the browser, as guide RNAs are quickly generated and the process can be iterative. The link to guidescan from Sloan Kettering and links to other useful guide RNA modules can be found in the PDF guide. When opening guidescan, make sure the following parameters, likely the default settings, are selected. Return to the genome browser. Zoom out by a factor of 10x to get a view of the flanking regions of the gene. The region to the right of PMS2 is free of segmental duplications. In the region to the left of the gene, there are two small gaps that could be probed to meet the criteria of no repeats or SNPs. The display can be grabbed with the mouse and scrolled to the left. Do this to look for more gaps in the segmental duplications. The largest gap will likely yield more guide RNA candidates. Zoom into this region. Zooming can be accomplished by clicking the top of the display and highlighting a region by dragging. A dialog window will launch, then press Zoom In. Again, look for relatively large gaps that are free of repeats and SNPs. Scrolling to the right, there are two good candidate regions. By examining the GC percent, the larger gap seems to have skewed GC content, so we will zoom into the slightly smaller one. After a final zoom to get a clear region, the base position can be copied into the input box by clicking on it, and then copy and paste it into guide scan. In guide scan, press the guide me button and the guide RNA sequences will be quickly processed. In this instance, 42 guides were found. By pressing the expand button, these can be quickly viewed. At a brief glance, we try to look for a low number of off targets in the top 10 or so sequences. If the guides look promising, press Download Results to export the list and view it in a spreadsheet. Taking a closer look, there are several criteria we use for selecting guides. First, they should not be overlapping. Overlapping guides are indicated in gray. Next, we look for high cutting specificity scores. The cutting efficiency scores are based on in vivo editing data and may not be important to our very different in vitro catch conditions. The strand direction is also not important. Lastly, we look at off-target analysis. The off-target column shows the total number of positions in the reference genome with two or three sequence mismatches to the guide. Single base mismatches are not reported. For instance, with the first guide selected shown in yellow, there is a total of one off target, zero positions with two mismatches, and one position with three mismatches. Most of the other guide RNA selection tools will give output similar to this format with cutting efficiency and specificity scores. However, most of the others are not as restrictive with respect to specificity as guide scan because they will show all guide RNA sites, even those in repeated sequences. Typically, two or three guide RNAs in a clustered cut region can perform catch using an equimolar mixture of the selected guides. We use a mixture to avoid the chance that a rare SNP will inactivate any single guide RNA thereby eliminating Cas9 cutting on that side of the fragment. Finally, 
the selected guide RNAs can be pasted into a custom BLAT search and displayed in our candidate cut region to confirm the absence of overlaps, snips, and repeats. In the Genome Browser, under Tools, select BLAT. In the Input box, enter the labels and guide sequences using the syntax shown. Press the browser link to display one of the guides. By zooming out slightly, all three guides should be displayed. Staying within this browser view, we can explore the second guide RNA selection strategy. The UCSC browser also has its own built-in CAS9 guide RNA track that shows guide RNA positions within 10 KB of exons. This tool is very useful for designing guide RNAs very close to particular genes or specific exons within a gene, and in these cases, an alternative strategy to using guide scan. In the display setting for genes and gene predictions, select Pack from the CRISPR Targets drop down menu and press Refresh. Color coded guide RNA candidates will appear in the display. Green color guides have the highest cutting efficiency. You can see that the guides selected using Guide Scan and entered in the BLAT search are represented as either green or yellow sequences in the UCSC track. By hovering a mouse over the guide, the MIT specificity score can be used to select guides with values closer to 100 preferred. The guides can be clicked to retrieve the sequences and for more detailed view of the efficiency scores. Here is the color reference table. Again, remember to select two or three guides for each side of the region of interest. In summary, here is an example of selected two sets of three guide RNAs that will excise a unique 250 KB genomic fragment containing the PMS2 gene with no contamination from the PMS2 CL pseudogene using the tools that we described. The UCSC Genome Browser is a valuable resource and it makes guide RNA selection almost trivial for human and mouse genomes. For other organisms that lack such rich genome annotation, it should be possible to use a reference genome sequence with an oligonucleotide search tool like BLAT to assess guide RNA specificity. Another difficult problem is devising catch guide RNA designs for regions that are embedded within segmental duplications. In such situations, it may be necessary to use non-unique guide RNAs to excise the catch target. It may be possible to find islands of single copy sequence within the repeats surrounding the region of interest that can be used. Another strategy is to look for guide RNA sites surrounding the region of interest that are repeated only a few times and see if the Cas9 digestion product for the region of interest can be separated from off-target catch products during the size selection in the SAGE HLS workflow. When designing guide RNAs for repeated genomic sequences, flexible guide RNA design such as Benchling or the Broad Institute guide RNA design site must be used since database sites like GuideScan.com li only list unique guide RNAs.